Welcome back to John's Films, where today we're taking a look at chat GPT. What does this have to do with video editing? Well, a large portion of my channel is about figuring out answers to common questions about DaVinci Resolve. For instance, hmm, what computer hardware should I use for Resolve? I get this question all the time. I mean, it seems to know about Resolve, right? So let's see. Oh, you have to have a high performance computer, powerful CPU and GPU. Best is Intel Core i9 or Xenon or the AMD Ryzen Threadripper. Well, okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. Here we are. So we know that for CPU, we're looking for an i9, a Xenon or a Threadripper and in a GPU, something like a RTX 3070. 32 gigabytes of RAM and fast storage. Wow, that's um, that's pretty specific. It says it is resource intensive and depends on the resolution of the footage. What if I want to edit 8K video? Uh-huh, 16 cores, okay. 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Oh, no, those are old graphics cards. Wait a minute, why did it tell me to get a 3070? 4070 is coming out soon. There's a 4080. Hmm. Transcode your footage to a lower resolution or use proxy files. I mean, that's good advice. Not necessarily particularly specific to resolve, but that makes sense. And you'll need an 8K display to preview it correctly. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Resolve has a free and studio version. Which should I use? Give it the typo and see if it fixes it. Yep, understands. Specific needs, blah, blah, blah. Wide ranges of features for video editing, color correction, audio mixing, visual effects. That's true. Most of the effects, uh, for example, maximum output resolution of, not sure if that's true anymore, Ultra HD. The question is, is this going to take my channel offline? Well, <laughs> not if I don't know, right? Uh, includes motion blur, 3D tracking, multi-camera editing, high resolution video formats, includes Fairlight tools, Fusion Visual. I don't see anything about the biggest deal hmm, about DaVinci Resolve Studio. And that's the use of hardware acceleration. What can I do in Resolve to make it perform better. Let's see how specific we can get. Mm, several things I can do. Optimize the media by transcoding it, or, well, Resolve has optimization in the fly there. Increase your computer resources. Add RAM, a faster GPU. Interesting. Manage the cache. So you could put it on a faster disk. You know, I'm getting pretty depressed because this is absolutely a lot of good answers. I get this a lot too. What's the best hardware configuration I should buy for Resolve? Let's see if it'll make specific recommendations. More powerful, the better, yep. I'm finding it very interesting that it is not mentioned yet that if you can buy the studio version of Resolve, yeah, so, it, hmm. so I think we found two problems here. It hasn't figured out specifically what and how to use the hardware. And if you buy Studio of Resolve, you take all of the encoding and decoding off your CPU and you put it onto your graphics card in dedicated hardware, which really helps. The other thing I'm seeing is all of these recommendations are quite old, which makes sense. ChatGPT was trained on data up until I believe 2021. All right, well, that's been a depressing look into ChatGPT with respect to DaVinci Resolve. Thank you all for sticking around through it. I hope, um, I hope it doesn't take my job soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.